Hello, everybody, and welcome to part number 16 of the 100 Baby Challenge. So we are picking up pretty much exactly where we left off. My girl Claire went ahead and came home from her prom dance, and interestingly enough, she got into her first romance with Christina. If you guys remember, I believe, I don't even have any slight clue what part it was, but at some point, um, Christina was like snubbing Claire during school and like they were fighting like cats and dogs. And now she has a crush on her. I am so excited to see where that's gonna go. Like I am fascinated. And it looks like we were just in time for Katina to realize she is pregnant so it's probably about time for us to go ahead oh calm down girl you ain't got nothing to worry about you got some babies coming you're supposed to be a little bit big around the edges um um, um, um what was i gonna say we should probably tell dan about you know the babies and since Katina's starting to have, you know, if you guys remember the last part, Katina's starting to catch a little bit of feelings for Dan, which is completely unorthodox, completely unlike her, something she would never do normally. And yet here she is beginning to fall for this guy ever since she noticed he had this softer side to him. I just feel like she's become so distrusting of not only men, but just people in general that she's just gotten used to being you know alone and dependent on nobody oh my gosh girl what are you doing get your butt home before you like die come on come on girl get home bella you better listen to your mother girl <laughs> she looks so mean like goodness gracious who's her dad um bruce of course <laughs> Ay, 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 she looks so mean. Um, let's see. But yeah, we definitely have to check that out. I'm really, really super duper curious about this now. So, um, Bella's on her way home, so we're going to be taking care of her for a couple of minutes just to make sure. If you guys hear a lot of background noise, it's a couple of things. And I do apologize ahead of time. Um, one, it is pouring rain, so you probably hear the rain. And two... It, uh, our AC is out, so we are currently using this ginormous fan to blow around. So if y'all hear some whizzing kind of white noise in the background, I do sincerely apologize. Um, I, nothing, nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I've completely forgot Bobby became an, an elder. Oh my gosh, can the babies not? Can they not? I'm gonna go ahead and wake up Tristan. And we're going to have him come and feed the babies since he got the most amount of sleep. Go ahead and feed the little ones. I think, he, I think Niall needs to, well no, Niall's pretty much okay, but we'll go ahead and feed him anyways. And then we're going to mop up this puddle right here. And I hope my girl, yeah, she did. So she beat me to it. She went ahead and used the all-in-one bathroom. And then we're going to send her to bed. Off to bed with you, young lady. I still don't understand how they go through the walls to do that, but whatever. <laughs> um, Tristan is grabbing some breakfast really super duper quick. It looks like Caden is awake, but oh my gosh, my boy needs a shower like nobody's business. Oh my sweet baby Jesus, young man. <laughs> you better go get your shower on, okay? Um, Bobby hasn't been getting... What? I'm so sorry. <gasps> no. Where is he? Where are you, Bobby? Oh, baby. Baby, no. We'll come give you some attention right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get up. Go see your mama. Go see your mama. And you, don't go anywhere. All right, let's give him some attention. We're going to give him some... Um, hold on. We're going to affection, feed him a treat. Affection, let's sniff hand, affection, pet him, affection, smoochy, affection, talk to him, and then we're going to brush him just to make sure he's nice and clean. Where are you guys going? Ay, ay, ay. Why we have to walk all over this house just to do things is beyond me. Um, but we are going to go ahead and invite Dan over as well, and hopefully he will come. But you should be feeling better now, boo-boo. 
And then we're going to come have you pee here. And then we will have you... Okay, so Dan is going to come over. So we'll have him pee here, and then we'll have him chew on some on the chew toy. A lot of you guys, um, a couple of you guys actually were suggesting that we go ahead and stop Katina having any more babies here, which I think would kind of make sense since the whole idea of the challenge is to have every single birth, you know, um, each set of babies be by different men. Um, it would kind of make sense that we go ahead and end it here, or for Katina rather, because uh, she wants to be with him. Oh, she has the wish to marry him. Yay! She wants to marry Dan. So, um, you know. Oh, look at Tristan. He's already trying to get along with him. She, he knows. He knows she. Me he means something to his mother, and he loves his mom. I mean, like they are probably the closest and have relied on each other so much. Tristan was her first child, and I just feel like. He has been an absolute godsend. And um, let's see. Friendly hug. Friendly chakra. We'll just do some friendly stuff really quick because we want to. We want him to move in with us. So let's ask him to move in. And he brings with him about four thousand dollars, which is amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I guess he's moving out of home. Because <laughs> I'm assuming Morgan McCormick is his dad. Mm. Excuse me, guys. I had to get a little something to drink. I am parched. So uh, Big Dan here is moving out of home. And he's got some babies on the way as well, which is a very, 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 very interesting. So this is wonderful. He moved in with him. So now we'll have one more guy to help out around the house, to help bring in some money, and uh, and to help make everything work. So we're gonna give her him a dip. Oh Lord, her a dip kiss. He wants to join the medical career. Well, we can we can see about doing that. Oh, he has the wish to be surrounded by his children. That's amazing. Oh no, he wants to be super popular. Why did I think that was surrounded by kids? Good gravy, my. You don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, so where's our screaming baby? Because apparently there's a screaming baby somewhere. Um, Dan, why don't you go ahead and make yourself useful and put Niall in his crib. Natalia is already in her crib. So I'm just going to have my girl here eat some leftovers really quick. Just so she feels nice and good. She's got some babies to eat for. And we need to make sure she's nice and, uh, and properly taken care of. Um, this has got to be like the best date ever since, you know, they moved in together and everything. I bet Dan just doesn't even know what he's getting into. This kid hasn't the slightest clue what he's getting into by moving in with this woman. <laughs> no idea. So I was trying to kind of redecorate Katina's room just a little bit to make it a little bit more personalized. So um, we're going to get her... We're gonna get her a proper bed that um, that suits her. Ooh, what is this? Cause this is really pretty. Ooh. Oh, how cute is this? I actually quite like this a lot. Um, I like the I like the wood, but I think she would like she would prefer more of a yeah like a that kind of coloring. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna have to change the walls because I love the patterns on that wall or on the bedding. So let me see. We can do abstract. What is this? Ooh, ooh, very nice. So maybe we can make this like that pretty green color. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then keep that at that pretty white, and it'll just be more of a muted green and that looks pretty good if I do say so myself yeah I actually quite like that it was just a very simple change but it actually looks pretty good all right so Katina has like a decent nice bed now they invested a little bit in something nice for them which I think is wonderful and it looks like they're both heading over to take care of the baby well that's fine <laughs> 
Um, so my girl Bella is gonna have to crash the instant that she gets home, pretty much, because she is going to pass out. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and have Katina use the bathroom because she needs to. Any hoozle. What is up with you, Tristan? Like, what are you trying to do, dear? What are you trying to do? Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and have this guy. Oh, oh! Before I forget, why don't you invite your little girlfriend over? Hmm. She says, sure, she'll come over in a little while. Ooh. Ooh, mamacita. This is going to be interesting. I'm very curious to see how this goes. I'm very, very, very curious. Okay. So let's go and greet her. <gasps> I am so interested. Let's see. What does she look like? She's cute. She's actually really quite pretty. What is up with her? What the heck is wrong with her? Ah, uh, okay. Um, funny, tell funny story. What in the hell is wrong with this girl? Like, they're, they're romantic interests. What is wrong with her? Um, okay. Should we apologize? I'm confused. What is wrong with this? G is she just insane? Like, what the hell? Katina has already started another group. Oh. What? That doesn't make sense. Why should that affect these two? But okay. Um. Okay. Why are you going bonkers? We're trying to apologize to you. What does that even mean? Can you leave? Go away, you crazy... Is there something wrong with her? Like, she just keeps responding to everything. Accusation of what? What is wrong with you? Go away, you crazy little hooker. Oh my god, now she won't even leave? What the hell happened here? Whatever, then we're just gonna be friends. Okay, because I don't want anything to do with you. Goodbye. Go away, you crazy, crazy, crazy woman. I, yay, yay, we do not need that problem in our lives. Okay, okie dokie. Um, let me see. She's sleepy, so I'm gonna go ahead and send her to bed. She's about to pass the heck out anyways. I like how Blair is the only one who really gets started on her homework and tries to actually do stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, let me see. Babies are going to be coming pretty darned soon. It shouldn't be too long now. I mean, she's already getting big, which is crazy. I'm going to go ahead and have her end this date because they've spent like the whole damn day together. And they had a wonderful time, which is beautiful. And what is Dan doing? Um, no, boo boo. She's trying to do her homework. Although, I appreciate you taking the initiative and trying to, you know, get along with your future stepchildren. Um, all right, let's go ahead and clean this up. I wonder what's going through Katina's head right now. You know what I mean? Like, she just, I don't know. I feel like she's starting to settle into the life that she's created. You know, she's got all these kids and she loves each and every one of them dearly and they mean so much to her. Oh, it's Caden's birthday. I almost forgot. I almost forgot it was Caden's birthday, y'all. So excited. Okay. <clears throat> I'm good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Um, I completely forgot who his father was. Who was his father? Oh, Malcolm Boone. Ooh. Oh, Kurt. That's right. Kurt Boone. Completely forgot. Well, hello, sir. Aren't you a handsome little fellow looking all cross-eyed? <laughs> he looks so goofy. He's quite handsome, though. Definitely a handsome young man. Um, I am going to go ahead and send him to sleep, though. I think it is definitely time for my boy to go on to Betty Bye. I think it's time for just about everybody to go to sleep, honestly. Um, let me check on my babies. It looks like Natalia is doing fine, but Neal definitely needs a, a bottle. And everybody rallies to help out Mama Katina with the babies. Um... Y'all gonna have to get out the way though, okay? Cause Katina's about to go to sleep and we all just gonna chill out for a little while. Who are you and why are you here? Go away. Um, what are you doing? 
So he's cleaning up around the house, which is fantastic since everybody else is trying to help out with the babies right now. So cleaning up is a last priority. Everybody is heading to sleep as well. Um, boo boo. Oh, that's wonderful. Change his dirty diaper for me. You are a wonderful child. You are a delight. You're a godsend. It looks like my girls are getting on their homework right now, which is fantastic. As long as y'all get it done, y'all Gucci, okay? Somebody's gonna have to start, like, moving out soon, though. Like, for real, these. It's gonna be a problem <laughs> with all these kids in this house. Um, let me check on my girls. Um, Claire, what are you doing? Oh, she's getting tired. Boo-boo. Oh, no. Um... Let's have you eat something really quick, Miss Claire, before I go ahead and send you to bed. And it looks like Bella might be putting the babies to bed. Yes, she is. And I think we'll have Bella come eat with her big sister also, since she is very, very, very hungry. And then we'll go ahead and send these girls off to sleep because it is late and it is time for my girls to go to bed. And since everybody is asleep at the moment, we will go right on ahead and zoom on past this, and we'll be right back when somebody wakes up, guys. Alrighty, guys, so that didn't take long at all. Miss Katina is already up and at them with all these disgusting things around her that she's currently going to clean up. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... So it is decided that our heir is going to be Miss Natalia, who should be becoming a child very soon. Um, or no, it may not be Natalia, actually. I completely forgot that Katina is still pregnant. So if she has a girl, then that will be our heir, and we will not have any more children until, um, until these ones age up properly. Um, go ahead and feed her on the floor, baby. Go ahead and feed her on the flow. Take care of your baby girl. Let me see. How is Tristan doing? I feel like we need to have Tristan and them at talk. They need to talk, you know? They need um, enthused about horses. Um, feel her tummy. Because, you know, Katina loves her children. You know, that's the one thing that can never really be faulted about her is that she truly, 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 truly loves her kids. And Tristan has been, you know, it's like I said earlier, Tristan has just been an absolute godsend to her. With all of these kids, he has been the man of the house for the longest time. And certainly nobody is trying to take that away from him. Not with Dan moving in or anything like that. And I feel like Tristan might feel a little bit of... Might feel a little uneasy about Dan moving in and kind of being the new, you know, man in Katina's life because none of them have really been important to Katina. None of them have really replaced, or not replaced, but like taken precedence in any way over her children. And in this case, Dan kind of does. You know, Katina wants to marry him, which is insane that she she actually does want to marry uh, Dan, but it's it's true, and I don't know. It's going to be really tough for um, for um, 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 Tristan, you know, to go from being most important to not really the most important. <laughs> I feel like I know what I'm trying to explain, but I'm just like getting sidetracked by, you know, queuing stuff up that I don't do it. Okay. Um, come use the all-in-one bathroom, dear. Get you your shower and your pee taken care of all in one sitting. Did you break it? Oh my god. Call the repair technician, you crazy woman. Because I'm certainly not about to have you try and fix that thing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and fill up that bowl. And then I might just have you come make a glass menu de vilo. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. I know you guys corrected me at some point, but I can't remember what what you guys said was the right thing to say. I don't even remember. Um, but this will make us a little bit more moolahs. Just a wee bit more. And then we need to see about getting Bobby to sniff out some more collectibles if he can. 
and it looks like ooh, she made a normal quality item which is fine she hasn't been making many high quality items recently I don't know what really influences that but um, I guess it doesn't matter oh we don't have any metals to smelt I completely forgot that you could smelt metals like how bad am I um what is wrong with the baby okay he needs to be fed so he's gonna go ahead and feed him which is good how is Natalia? Natalia is fine. Um, so why don't you come use the all-in-one bathroom? I don't even freaking know what Dan is doing. Like, Dan, what are you doing? Uh, let us find you a job, boo-boo. You wanted to join the medical career? Yes, that is completely fine. So now he is an organ donor, and he already has really high logic, so it's going to be fantastic. And what the balls happened here? Oh my goodness, look at all this crap. What in the world happened? Ay ay ay. Okay, but well, we're gonna clean this really quick. Dan has basically become a little house husband. <laughs> basically, that is what your role is in this family, Mr. Dan. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that is what you are tasked with, dear. Um, somebody made some dinner though, and well, breakfast for dinner, but you know what, whatever. And that is awesome. And of course, Blair, being as awesome as she is, just gets right on started with her homework. She is just a fabulous child. And Katina, what are you doing, baby? <gasps> what is it? Uh, uh, what the hell? Pardon my French, but geez, uh, what is wrong with you? Apologize to your girlfriend. How could you be so rude? And give her a big dip kiss. Because you love her, and you cannot be that much of a douchebag. Excuse you. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to hug her, and we're going to embrace her, and we are going to make out with her, and we're going to joke with her, and then you know what we're going to do? We are going to propose marriage! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a good moment for cats. Look at this. And the stupid paparazzi, get out of the way. Can you not? Look how excited she is. She is so freaking happy. That is wonderful. I have not seen Katina this happy since, like, oh, I'm so happy for her. That is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Look at her. Look at her. She is just beaming, newly engaged. She's so excited. I don't know what we're going to do for the wedding. Maybe we'll just have them have, like, a private wedding. I don't even know. But, for now, she needs to go eat some food because she is, again, eating for two. And we cannot afford for her to um, feel them little babies inside of her. So, Mr. Dan, I'm going to have you just come chill. Come watch some TV. You're feeling all right, so you can just kind of hang out. Um, you, boo-boo. Oh, my goodness, girl. You need to go to sleep like no. And you need to take a shower, which you're already pretty much beating me to, which is fine. Um, it looks like, uh, it looks like Bella is struggling a wee bit. <laughs> we might have her go ahead and join Dan on the couch to watch some TV and chill out a little bit. Are you kidding me? Can anything not break in this dang freaking house? It's because you buy all the cheap crap, my, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm probably actually going to replace it. I mean, I still need a bath to bathe, what's his face, Bobby? <laughs> But I can use a slightly nicer one, right? Yeah. Oh my, this is very dark. Um, <clears throat> so we'll put that baby right there. That's pretty expensive. Hopefully it won't break as easily. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, it certainly doesn't match anything, but it's not the point. <laughs> certainly is not the point. Um, Kaden, my dear, have you done your homework? Does it even freaking matter? Are we even really paying attention? Um, he has done 4% of his homework. Oh, the babies are aging up. Oh, Lord Jesus. This means we're going to need more room. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to start building up. This is a problem. Or I can extend this room a little bit, probably. We don't need this many cribs anymore. Oh, he and oh my gosh, he got the evil traits. <gasps> that totally fits his red hair. Are you kidding? That fits so well. Oh, look at Natalia. She's a little diva. 
Look at my girl. She looks like her mama. Does she have her, does she have her mama's eyes? She does. And um, I believe Niall has his father's eyes. Yes, he does. He has those bright green eyes. Look at my kids. It looks so funny. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this wall out a good bit. We're going to delete that. What is the problem? Oh, this is in the way. Okay. Well, we'll move that right there, and then we'll pull this out. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? There is nothing intersecting it. Like what, home slice? I need more room here. Oh, boy. Um... Hmm, it might be time to extend sideways. Let's see. Come on. Can't level terrain. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, Mai, so it looks like we're going to be building up and ruining all of this cute stuff. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. Um, ugh. Well, I, these are the last of the kids, so maybe we can just... We only need two more cribs, so maybe we can just make it work and buy each of them a, um, a bed in here. So we will buy one bed for, ooh, for my little one here. And then we will buy a more girly bed for my girl over here. This is still pretty girly. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> it's a little bit girly, but it's okay. And then we'll, we'll put my boy right here. He wants to be more mature, you know? He wants to be an, an adult and all that fancy schnancy stuff. And then we'll just, we'll just put the babies over there. It's whatever. <laughs> they can deal. And then we'll just have these last two beds for um, Niall and Natalia. See, everything works out in the end. It all works. My, it's a make it work moment, but my made it work. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and wrap up part 16 right here. I hope y'all enjoyed part 16 of the 100 baby challenge. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you have not already. And feel free to leave some more D names for the baby. Um, Katina is on her last pregnancy for the 100 baby challenge. And it's important that we have some D names because we might have a D named um, heir to the 100 baby challenge. So definitely leave your suggestions below. And uh, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for being patient with me. It has been for a very long time now. It has been very hard for me to make videos. And I'm just doing my absolute best. I know you guys are getting really frustrated with me sometimes. And I know you guys are really um, anxious to see new videos. But trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. I will continue to put stuff out here for you guys. I will never stop putting things out for you. Um, the frequency may not be ideal. But I definitely, definitely, definitely will not ever stop putting up these videos for you guys. I love doing them. It makes my day, and it's just it's just life. Life gets in the way, you guys, and it, and I'm a, I'm at a very very hectic part of my life right now, and um, sometimes it just gets it gets in the way. <laughs> but um, thank you all so much for bearing with me, regardless, and I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next part of whatever I make. Bye, y'all.